Hi guys, Best in the Realm here. Today we're going to play Mag Runner Dark Pulse. This is something I got of GOG.com. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a pretty awesome website where they uh, they take older games and they make them usable again. This I don't think is an older game. I probably should have done some research on it. I'm going in blind on this one. I have no idea what this is. I just saw a screenshot and I was like, that looks cool. So I'm gonna try it out. I don't know if it's a puzzle game or what. I, oh, I'm gonna shut up. I'm Gamachi, mutant, inventor, scientist. For you to understand, I need to start at That'd be a good the idea. In the 21st century, the Glucosberg Corporation rose to a position of world dominance. By 2035, their LifeNet total existence network had linked billions of people across the globe encompassing social, economic, government, private, and public services within one monstrous, ever-evolving system. With LifeNet and the corporation's vast financial resources, Glucosber accomplished what governments could only hope for, a worldwide populace that wanted to conform and that was willing to sacrifice privacy for security, safety, and interaction. The CEO, Kram Glukisberg, pooled tens of thousands of scientists together to find a new source of free energy to be used for space exploration. The result was magnetic technology. Glukisberg's space program would be a three-month test of not only magtech, but also citizen explorers, astronauts chosen from the populace. After worldwide selection trials that tested the applicants' athletic capabilities and knowledge of mathematics, physics, and psychology, seven candidates were chosen to enter Glukasberg's training facility. These seven, selected from scientists, athletes, and civilians, would take Glukasberg's technology to the stars. Glukasberg called them his uh -huh. map runners. A 500,000 square foot training facility filled with puzzles and physical obstacles was built over the San Andreas Rift. The world watched and waited. This young man is Dax C. Ward. Dax's father, like me, was an expert in genetics and cybernetics. One of the few who had no compunctions about working with a mutant. James and his wife Lavinia became my closest friends. When the accident happened, Dax was left in my care. I raised the boy the best I could, and he soon began to show signs of his father's brilliance. Dax had an aptitude for robotics, genetics, engineering. He read everything he could about Glucosberg's magtech and began to apply the same principles to creating his own technology. By the time he was 11, he had started his own business, repairing and creating new devices. By the time he was 15, he had built and programmed the Newton prototype, a one-of-a-kind electromorph robot. So I suppose that I shouldn't have been surprised when he told me on his 23rd birthday that he wanted to apply for the Krukusberg MagTech program. He had the skills, and he had the brain for it. As we completed work on his custom maglove, I knew he was ready. This is cool. It, I'm intrigued. This game looks really nice. Oh, hello. My friends, thank you for joining us today. Today, Grukasper Magtech is proud to unveil hello. our space exploration training facility. Today is the first day of a three-month training program that'll prepare our mag runners for space exploration. At our facility, they will not only experiment with mag tech, but also learn to work and live together as they forge our future. Now, let's hear a few words from Xander Deverin, the creator of the facility and genius mag tech engineer. I've spent considerable time and energy Whoa, what designing the, the testing Where facility with from? functional examples Jeez. of our new technology. During training periods, 
Contestants will find their bodies and minds pushed to the limits. We will see what they can accomplish individually and later what they are capable of as a group. Be sure to stay online to see History in the Making, brought to you by the same minds responsible for the LifeNet. After a quick briefing, our seven mag runners are preparing to enter the facility mm. for the first time. It's almost showtime, Dax. You ready for this? I'm nervous, Kamaji. I made it here. Now the real training starts. The Mag Runners training will be the most important three months of their lives. They will pit their skills and wits against the brilliant Mag Tech engineer, Xander Deveran, who will evaluate their progress. We've been allowed into the facility for the first 24 hours, and we're bringing it to you live via LifeNet. Don't be nervous, Dax. Stay focused. And remember why you're here. Newton and I will be following on the life net. He says good luck. No, Gamaji. We're talking about going into space if I pass the training. It's hard to believe. If your parents were here, I know they'd be very proud of you, as I am. Be sure to test out the new mag glove before you start. Ready, Xander? Ready. Let's begin. Good luck, Dax. Right. Stay focused. <laughs> It almost feels like Portal. Welcome to the state of the art, Mag Runners. Xander's really outdone himself with this facility. We hope you oh. enjoy this miracle oh. of Mag Tech oh. modularity. <laughs> you make it a pot. Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> Science. I can do this all day. <laughs> I'd be entertained. Wait, what am I doing? Does this one go somewhere? What it almost seems like with the with the talk of this life net, everyone conforming, and even the way that uh, God, the, the weird mutant guys set up, it was like Dave's X.